Hmm. I know I'm missing something. Oh, there you are. Hey, well, this week on Slick Six Guns Network, stay tuned. Slick Six Guns Network. Uh, today what we are going to be talking about is we are actually going to be cleaning an 1851 Navy. Uh, as you know from our last video what we did was we went ahead and actually shot this thing but uh, now we need to actually clean it so I'm going to walk you through that. If you haven't seen the disassembly process please go through my previous videos. I do a disassembly video on this and also uh, this isn't going to cover reassembly, so you're going to have to look at another previous video that I had done for that. But, hold on a second. We got to stop right there, because you know what it's time to do? It's time to click like, subscribe, and smash that, uh, that notifications button so you know when I put out new videos as I'm coming out with the new videos every week. Alright, so, <clears throat> go ahead and talk about quickly uh, some of the tools that you're going to need. Obviously, this weapon is fully disassembled from my disassembly video. Um, you are going to need a boar snake for 38 caliber, some type of cleaning cloth. You're going to possibly need a punch set. You're going to need some warm, soapy water. Okay, you're going to need a brush. You can use a toothbrush or some other type of brush for that. You might need some Q-tips. I'll show you what we're going to do with those in a second. And uh, also, you're going to need your barrel, uh, your barrel cleaner rods. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do, excuse me, I didn't get quite all my materials out. You're going to need some brake free or some type of uh, gun lubricant. You're also going to need Simple Green. These are the two things that I use uh, when cleaning my weapons. Uh, with black powder, the only extra uh, cleaning portion is going to be the soapy water. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that all my pieces are kind of spaced apart just a little bit. I have everything out here on the mat. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and take my simple green and I'm just going to go ahead and spray everything down. I'm going to get everything nice and soaked. All right. Now this just kind of gets everything uh, ready for uh, cleaning, kind of breaks up the black powder. Uh, what's really going to break up the black powder is actually going to be the water solution that we're going to use. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start taking my parts and I'm just going to What I'm going to do with the barrel is I'm going to coat it once more, one more time with simple green. Again, make sure I got all sides of it. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I am going to take a patch, just a regular patch. I'm going to kind of wad it up. And then I'm going to put it in the barrel just like so. So it sticks in. And then what I'm going to take is I'm going to take the simple green and I'm going to just squeeze it down the barrel. so that it gets all soapy and soaky and it should look pretty good from there. I'm just going to let it sit for a few seconds 
And then I'll take that out. I'm going to take a <clears throat> I'm going to take my ramrod here. All right. So I'm just going to go ahead and remember to run from breech to muzzle. All right. Just gonna run it through a couple times. Okay, as you can see, that's kind of dirty right there. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to go ahead and take my boar snake, and I'm gonna go ahead and run it through the boar. Should be. Uh, what I like to do with boar snakes is I like to make sure they're a little bit oversized. I'm going to go ahead and submerge that real quick. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and go through the uh, cylinder here. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm basically just going to run some Q-tips through it. That's what I like to do. You want to you can actually dip it in water and scrub it there Get some nice soapy parts in there So the next time that you see this, you are going to see all the parts laid out on the table. They're going to be dried from the water, and uh, then we're going to get to our final step. All right, we're back now, and uh, these parts are dry. I just took them out of the uh, water barrel and dried them off, just patted them down, and also went over each piece with a nice clean cloth. And then what I'm going to do now is the final part to clean this is I'm going to actually take my break free and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to coat everything with...